I'm out here in the middle of the desert, New Mexico. Right behind me we have a Earth ship, simple survival model. I actually want to take you inside to talk a little bit more about this and what I'm doing out here. Got two other simple survival model Earth ships next to me. This, is my, this will be my Earth ship for the month. When you first enter the Earth ship, you got this greenhouse here. In the greenhouse, you're able to grow your own plants, grow your own food, and the Earth ship stays around 70 degrees. So, winter time, you'll be living in around 70 degree temperatures. Summertime, 70 degree temperatures. And you got a natural heating and cooling ventilation system. Let me take, sh take, show you the shower. Pretty neat. This is actually very basic because it's an old model. Compared to the new ones, your new Earth ships have more of your modern home appliances. You know, you'll have your dishwasher, your dryer, you got your big screen TV and all that. And in this Earth ship, I got like a propane powered stove top. You know, we got your essentials. You got your bathroom. Take a look. See? Very basic. Let me, let me show you what the bedrooms look like. This is my bedroom for the month. While I'm out here at Earthship School. Pretty neat. Got your sink. Again, like I said, more basic. Not, you know, your modern home style appliances. And this still provides you with your essentials. You're able to cook your food, grow food. Show you another room. See, pretty neat. Nice Hobbit style. I'm out here because I wanted to learn how to build these self-sustained living environments. We're living in a in a world where much of our things that we that we need we depend on for outside sources. You know we want if we need electricity we depend on some electric company to provide us you know with the with the electricity to you know power our homes and power all our appliances. If we want water we go to a, we gotta pay the water bill. If we want food we gotta go to the grocery store. All of our needs if we want you know Heating and cooling, we depend on air conditioner, we depend on a heater. But with the earth ships, the whole concept, the idea, the philosophy is that you're able to be self-sustained. You're able to, to live off in, in a harmonious state. You're able to live in a harmonious way with nature. So the earth ship has natural heating and cooling ventilation system built throughout it. Uh, has as, it uses the earth as a way to keep it cool during the summer and keep it uh, warm during the winter and you're able to grow your own food inside and if you have your own land good nice piece of land you can have your own crops outside growing so you can have all your food throughout the year because obviously in a greenhouse this size you'll run out of food pretty quickly so you'll definitely need to have your own nice piece of land so you can grow your own crops and be sustained throughout the year or you can just have something like, something like this and still, you know, live both in that duality of, you know, being sustained, self-sustained to an extent and also still enjoy the pleasures of, you know, restaurants and all that. But this is really neat. So while I'm out here in New Mexico at Earthship Academy, I'm going to be learning the philosophy, the concept, you know, the idea behind how, to, how these Earthships are able to keep or help humans be self-sustained. I'm gonna be putting in some work and learning you know, what type of materials we're gonna need. Most of the materials that we use are recycled materials and we're gonna be pounding tires with dirt. Those are used as bricks. We use, um, as you can see here around me, you can tell that there's a lot of glass bottles in the walls. That's because the glass bottles, the idea is to take, to recycle materials. So instead of just having them all piled up in, in the junk, in the dump, we can use them and they take up cement. They take up cement so you don't have to use as much cement and we got lots of other, other materials that we can use and to help build these earth ships. 
I'm just, I'm just really excited to be here. I'm going to learn a lot, and I'm looking forward to all the many different opportunities that this is going to, this is going to manifest. I remember just talking to, uh, when I, when I taught fifth grade, I remember talking to my students about earthships, and they were so excited. I remember a certain student uh, said something like, I want to live in a box. I want to live in an earthship. And I thought that was incredible how that, that idea of just a home is like this little box and an earthship is, is living outside of that box here. You got, it's the idea of, of a home, you know, it's, it's not self-sustained. It's very dependent on other sources and an earthship is harmonious with nature. And that's incredible. I'm excited to see, you know, what all that I'm going to learn here. And I'm excited to, to share my experience, my knowledge and skills with others. And I'm, I'm ready to... I'm ready to see what, what this self-sustained lifestyle is about and, and see what we can really do. Being here, I'm already, I'm already getting all these different ideas of what I can do with, with the knowledge and skills gained here at Earthship School. I want to be able to provide, build an old Earthship, like a simple survival model Earthship for my parents. I want to be able to build an Earthship for myself and I want to be able to travel and help build earth, earth ships for others and help people live a self-sustained lifestyle, live a life where they're using their energy to, to actually live, you know, not be so stressed out, not, not be so confused and not be so lost. They can instead realize that life's meant to be lived in harmonious with nature, not living against nature where, you know, we're, we have many destructive ways of living currently on the planet. And these earthships can help, you know, reverse that. We can, these earthships are the most sustainable buildings on the planet. They have a zero carbon, they release um, zero carbon emissions. And they're built with recyclable materials. They're designed so that you can live off the grid. And they're designed so that you can live free. And I want, I want to be able to help provide that for for others and bring that realization, bring that awareness to people to help us remember how we're meant to live. Not, you know, not some, not this program that many of us seem to be stuck in. I want us to, I want to help people break free from the illusions and help people awaken to the reality that we can be free. We don't have to be oppressed. We, we're, we're, we can break free from oppression ourselves by making that choice to live this kind of lifestyle, you know? And I'm just, I'm just blown away by this whole experience. I got a lot to learn and I want to keep you updated on what, what I learn here and keep you posted with, you know, projects that I'll be working on and in the future. And this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of something great. Something great for, for myself, great for my family, and great for, for everyone who's willing to learn. Let's get it. Let's get it. This Earthship life. Let's get this Earthship life going. Now, if you have any, if you have any questions and you're, more, you're interested, you know, I've, I've been able to share just what, what comes to mind. And if you have any questions you're in, and you're interested about Earthship or Earthship School, feel free to, to ask, ask them in the comments below. And I'll be more than willing to communicate with you, talk about Earthships, uh, talk about self-sustained living, talk about, you know, talk about the future of our planet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to just communicate with, with others, communicate ideas, and you can express, express your opinion and... Um, Let's, let's talk. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about earthships. Let's talk about self-sustained living. All right. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.